Hi everyone, welcome to Josie's upgrade video. She was previously in a Zolux Neo Cozy, I'll add a picture right here. And now we finally upgraded her to an IKEA Detolf. Here's just a quick overview of the entire enclosure and basically the front view of her enclosure. Now going into the lids that we created for the detolf, with the help of my dad, we made these two lids and it's made of wood and chicken wire. This cardboard right here is just to protect Josie because unexpectedly the multi-chamber hide is too high that she can reach the chicken wire and I have cats so it's just for her safety. So starting off with the left side of our enclosure, we have these two dig bowls. So these are IKEA organizers. Here we have cocoa soil and there we have fine beach chips. And she has a hide because she likes using the cocoa soil as a toilet. Here we have two sisal chew toys. This is a seagrass hanging toy that I put treats and food in for her to forage for. This is a terracotta pot I put her sprays in like millet spray. Here we have a DIY Totoro hide. This is just a wicker ball that I put food in and she destroys this a lot. She loves playing with it. Here we have a wooden bowl for her forage mix. And we have this burrow starter which is just a ceramic tunnel and she's actually started burrowing underneath the platform for these organizers. And this other burrow leads into an underground ceramic tunnel which she's actually put her whimsy chews inside and some bedding. Onto the other things here, we have this bird perch, which is in a really cool shape. And I think it's from a brand called Kula Pet. We have this toy over here, which she doesn't really care about, but it's the way I hear that she's awake because of the bell. Then here we have her water bottle and this DIY water bottle holder I made with the help of my dad. This terracotta saucer to help catch the water and help with her nails. And we have this Trixie tunnel that I just hung up so it's more fun for her to go through and climb. Now onto the next section of this enclosure. Here we have her two-room multi-chamber hide and this one is a Trixie coconut hide which helps cover this hole over here for her multi-chamber hide because she doesn't use this room when there's no cover on it. So she actually enters from here and also from here. Here we have an IKEA corrugated cardboard and this is a DIY puzzle foraging toy which is from Hamukatsu on Instagram. I'll put her username on the screen. This is a DIY cloud themed staircase and over here we have a wooden slices staircase that goes into her multi-chamber hide. This I believe is either a dandelion root or a nettle root but it's a pretty big one for her to chew on and she likes that. We have this small swing. I sometimes put food on it so she jump so she climbs onto it. Then we have this ceramic tunnel that has two exits. I also put food in this one because she likes um, snacking in here. Then over here we have another wooden slice. It's just in front of this ceramic hide. And this is a Trixie ceramic hide. I believe it's called the ceramic hat house. And underneath all of that is this peep. I think it's called a peep hideaway. I just made it with cardboard. It's a DIY one and I stuffed it with tissue paper in case you wanted to nest in there. On this section right here, we have these two dig jars. Um, these are actually IKEA jars. Here we have corp granules with a sisal chew toy inside. Here we have regular sized beach chips with another sisal chew toy. 
and to help step onto those we have these bamboo root that I use as a stepper for her to go into the stick jars here we have a napkin holder which she likes using as a tunnel a wood slice over there here we have another wood slice and a Dumbo chew over here is a DIY flower umbrella I've made for her and she can just chill under it which is really cute sometimes she sneaks over there this is a seagrass ball and we have this plastic tunnel that leads down into this tunnel this is a Pringles can I buried underneath the substrate and we I just cut out a window to see her and this tunnel leads into this Pringles tunnel which leads into the peep hideaway so it's all just a huge tunnel system moving over to this area we have her Trixie ceramic hide this bowl that has cocoa husk and I actually sprinkle food in it to encourage her digging into it we have wooden slices of steppers as this is quite high then we have this slate rock which is her kitchen area we have her food bowl and her water bowl over there and this entire platform is just the IKEA magazine holders so I have two stacked onto each other because I needed the height to separate the next area that you'll be seeing so this keeps all the bedding on this side we have bedding inside and this bendy bridge and she's currently nesting on the bottom magazine holder which is good because she's finally started burrowing in there here we have another Dumbo chew toy and this hanging wicker ball toy which I stuffed food into as well then to get to the other side we have this Trixie tunnel and another napkin holder she uses as a tunnel and she's currently nesting in here now we go to this last area which is her sand bath area and there's Miss Josie so her sand bath area has her Trixie wheel this is the 28 centimeters wheel we have another one of those IKEA organizers and this is the biggest size that they have we have this hide some dried sorghum and a treat bowl we have this DIY foraging toy which is just a plant pot with cardboard this aquarium slate rock which helps with her nails and we have these cute IKEA ceramic cacti as decorations another napkin holder and this area just has a thin layer of aspen and I put this fence up just to make it look cuter because it looked empty in the beginning but that is pretty much it I'll just be giving you a quick rundown and the top view of the entire enclosure one more time and I really hope you enjoyed this video I really enjoyed setting up this enclosure for her and she enjoys all the space which is always a big bonus with these bigger enclosures so I'm happy that she's happy thank you for watching